know why, because Bill English's office I said, call, Mr. Um, Chairman. Derek Mr. Ball. Derek Ball. I'm calling Derek Ball. Thank you, sir. I'm calling Derek Ball. Um, it's a pleasure to rise on behalf of New Zealand first to speak on vote social development, sir, and I would just like to um, concentrate actually on the LSV program, a limited service volunteer program, and it's sorry. Is it? Oh, why have you cut it then? Why have you cut the funding then? Uh, and the funding, or the lack of it, sir, and the, and the uh, actually the reduced funding, uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because youth is. Uh, one of the most important age groups that we have in our country, but it's also one of the most underfunded and actually neglected by this government, sir. And secondly is because I was actually uh, a platoon commander in the LSV, so I know the actual benefits and that it is a great course, the LSV course. I'd just like to start by quoting actually uh, the previous minister of her explanation uh, before they actually, the government actually bolstered up the numbers from around 800 to about 2,000 positions for trainees there. Uh, and Paula Bennett said, it's not always easy as a young person to know what direction you are taking. Self-confidence is sometimes lacking and the courage to take risks and open yourself to new opportunities is sometimes missing. Right. I have seen firsthand the light that switches on for young people while on LSV. They gain confidence, they learn about themselves and what they are capable of. They come out with a plan. Sometimes it's not just about an employment or study plan but a life-altering direction that they will take. And since 1993, Sue, so actually, they've got some stats and results here, and it says that they have shown that all of those who have completed the course since 1993, 45% gain employment and a further 30% enter trade-related training within three months of the course finishing. But if, apparently, if we fast forward just a few years, apparently, if we fast forward just a few years, sir, uh, it says that the government has quietly scaled back boot camps for young beneficiaries and the Treasury has advised they should be scrapped altogether because they are not effective. But not effective about what, sir? And what and how is the government measuring the success of the LSV courses and why they should be funding or cutting the funding to LSVs? And in fact, a spokeswoman for Social Development Minister, Anne Tolley, said that the rise then was because of a high youth unemployment during the financial crisis, which is around the 2010-2011 uh, year. Well, that's a load of rubbish, sir, because if we actually look at the stats, in 2010, in the third quarter, there were 33,000 15 to 19-year-olds who were unemployed, around 23.8%. And if we fast forward to 2015, when they want to cut it, from 2,000 to around about 800 trainees, there are exactly the same number of youth unemployed, 33,000, and is around just over 21 per cent. So no change whatsoever in the unemployment. But apparently, apparently in 2010, that's a, that's a cause to increase the numbers of LSV, increase the funding, and in 2015, that's a cause to cut it. And in fact, and if you want to look at the age group from 20 to 24, which does include uh, positions for LSVs, in 2010, there were just 26,000, and in 2015, there are 30,000. It's moved up from 11.9%, uh, or has remained at 11.9%. So where is this government getting its statistics from? Uh, and they're making, they're making them up, sir. So what they want to do is cut costs, sir, and they want to do it by any means necessary, and it's, a, it's an absolute cop-out. So they're letting these kids from the successful program in the LSV that NZDF is running toward yet another youth benefit scheme and we've got a bill going through this house at the, house at the moment about extending the youth services. So the youth services are actually fully focused on just one thing and that's focused on education and focused on level two. So how can you compare, how can you compare no, that? No, no, not me. Sorry, sorry, sir. How can members in this house, how can the government compare that to the self-confidence, the courage and the new opportunities that the LSVs gain and these trainees gain, trainees gain in the LSV program? It, they can't, sir. And I'd just like to finish with this. In the Treasury report, it says that the package does not include funding to continue the limited service volunteer program. There is limited evidence of its effectiveness in achieving its outcomes. Well, in 2010, they had the evidence to increase it, and now they don't. And what I'd like to say, sir, is that 
I say, and everybody else that has been involved with LSV says, that you cannot measure the co confidence, the courage, and the self-realisation that these individuals gain. I call uh, Marima.